celebrating its 25th anniversary with a week's worth of events. Jason Ostell is there live. He joins us now from inside the pub. Derek, yeah, thanks for uh, joining us today. What are you going to do? Jason, thanks for having me. It's great to be back. I feel like KUSI and me were like family. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, so, Jason, I have a question for you. Do you, in fact, like stories? Of course. Hey, there Jason. We got you. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, we got you back. Yeah. Somebody what? kicked the plug. Sorry okay. about that. <laughs> All right. So what do we got here? A story. A story, right? It's like I said, it's about 25 years ago. Uh, I walked through these doors, and there Greg was sitting at the bar all by himself. And uh, me came in with a couple friends, right? One, two, three, four guys dressed to the nines, or in this case, to the kings. And we walked in, and, you know, we said to Greg, we said, you know, Greg, we love this city. Uh, we love McGregor's, and we love you. And, uh, you know, we're new here, so can you introduce us to some ladies? And he says, sure, I'll see what I can do. And the cards were cut. Well, Greg took one walk around the block. He came back, and he said, I, lucky for you, I found a couple ladies, two brunettes and two redheads. I said, my God, they're beautiful. Where did you find them? He says, right down the street at the 654 Club. I said, Greg, you're the man for a little show our appreciation. Here's a two-hour tip. It was 25 years ago, Jason, so you don't understand. Like, that was a lot of money back then. Yeah. So that night we went out, we had a little bit of fun, and uh, we came back the next night, and uh, I said, you know what, Greg, we are, we're a couple of poker players. You know anybody who likes to play poker? He said, I'll see what I can do. The cards were cut. Greg took one walk around the block. He came back. He said, I found a couple of guys. Their all name is Jack. I said, Greg, where did you find them? That's fantastic. He says, right down the street, the 654 Club, of course. I said, Greg, you're the man. Here's another $2 tip to show our, our gratitude. Well, later on, we start to play a little bit, and uh, I said, you know, Greg, we, uh, we're we shy a little bit. Can you uh, can you help us out? And he says, well, what do you need, Derek? And I said, about 40 bucks, you know, a couple of 20s. He says, uh, I'll see what I can do. And, of course, the uh, cards were shuffled. Greg took a walk around the block. And, of course, these cards were once again cut. He came back. He said, Derek, I didn't find any uh, I didn't find any 20s, but fortunately for you, I found four 10s. I said, Greg, you're the man. You know, we played a hand of poker that night. We, of course, won, and I tipped him out a little bit. And he said to me, he said, you know, Derek, you remind me awfully a lot about that really amazing magician. Uh, what's his name? Um, Derek Ostavani. And I said, please, nobody's that handsome. And he said, you know what, Derek, how old are you, about 38? I said, close, I'm 39. He said, you live around here? I said, sure, I live at 13, 29, West 8th Street. He said, do you play poker often? I said, all the time. He said, where do you play? I said, of course, down the street, the 654 Club. He said, do you see some good hands come here? Last week, actually, Mark Mathis came in. Believe it or not, he had trip sevens and a pair of eights. He said, my God, Derek, that's a full house with that win. He said, no, because Jason came in with trip aces and a pair of nines. He says, my God, that must have won. He says, no, unfortunately, that sly devil, Derek Ostavani, came in with a straight flush. And there you have it. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. My you, God. You're cutting the dick. You got to go, Jace. <laughs> Jace, amazing. Any questions? Well done. We'll be, we'll be right back. Oh. The simulcast is coming up. <laughs> That's so cool.